Thank you for clicking Dr. Samurai Minute Lecture. In this video, I would like to answer the question of what the attainment of the highest grade in swordsmanship kendo really means. My name is Dr. Samurai. I am a professor specialized in international social pathology. One of the local newspapers called Bonich Shimbun reported that a gentleman, Mr. Tsuyoshi Suzuki, passed the license exam for the highest grade in uh, kendo swordsmanship. The newspaper reports that uh, Mr. Suzuki started uh, his uh, kendo practice at the age of five, then uh, elementary school, junior high school, and uh, university. During the university years, he uh, could attend the national kendo tournament twice. That means he was at the highest level in the uh, local level. Then he became a, a member of SWAT team, and uh, in uh, 2016, he won the championship in the national kendo tournament. I said uh, he passed uh, highest grade in uh, kendo swordsmanship, which is eighth grade. How difficult is it? This time, 1,294 people attended the license exam, and only 12 passed the exam nationally. That means uh, success rate of uh, eighth degree swordsmanship is uh, only 0.9%. And uh, Mr. Suzuki is saying, uh, first I studied out uh, kendo practice advised by my uh, parents. I was taught by my master that uh, you must be able to uh, adjust yourself to different conditions as if uh, you were water, which comes from uh, Musashi Miyamoto. And I still think it was the right teaching, and uh, I have been practicing alone, looking at my skills uh, reflected in the mirror. If you like this kind of uh, yeah, discussions, please click the green and the yellow Good Luck Chum logo. And uh, there's this gentleman who has been holding the eighth degree black belt in uh, Kendo swordsmanship. He is saying, I am still in the path to uh, achieve what I am looking for. One of my uh, friend challenged this uh, eighth grade swordsmanship. He was, uh, I believe, uh, 64 years old. Of course, he is uh, holding uh, seventh grade in uh, kendo swordsmanship already. What he was emphasizing was uh, you have to uh, achieved the level of uh, true master in terms of skill and also in terms of uh, spirit. So I still remember my friend uh, was uh, repeatedly saying that uh, those uh, who only achieved eighth grade kendo license were all like uh, people who attained the uh, highest stage of uh, mentality like a uh, highest level of a Buddhism monk. I uh, remember he was saying uh, there's this uh, very old gentleman walking to the dojo with the uh, stick, his back bent forward. He was walking uh, uh, weekly. However, once he was in the dojo and changed his clothing to the kendo uniform, and uh, grab his uh, bamboo sword, he changed completely. And whatever I did, I could not move him. So, uh, although I am not into uh, kendo, I could imagine uh, what kind of level my friend was talking about to be a uh, eighth grade kendo uh, swordsmanship. And uh, here's the value I would like to provide you. Whatever the field it may be, for us to attain the highest level in a certain skill, it 
also requires us to achieve the unshakable spirituality which could、uh, transcend all the other fields. I remember the highest level sushi cook can always grab the same number of rice pieces every one of the time. And、uh, they have this uh, aura that、uh, radiates from their persona. And、uh, I believe to attain the highest level in、uh, whatever kind of、uh, field means to be unified with this、uh, chi. By that, I mean、uh, the air that surrounds this、uh, planet Earth. You must、uh, integrate yourself with this,、uh, our surrounding environment to be one, which means、uh, you are not yourself anymore. You reflect power that surrounds you. I believe that is what、uh, achievement of the highest level in any field means. Though、uh, I'm not sure. I cannot come up with the better words, so if you have、uh, better expressions, please、uh, leave a comment in the comment section. I would appreciate it. And if you like this kind of、uh, discussions, please click that、uh, red Dr. s u m e r logos. Wherever you are, my friend, on this、uh, same small planet Earth during this、uh, very short, same period of time. Okay, bye bye now.